It's make or break conference for Ed. And today was his big speech. I've got a message for the Tories today. They want to have a debate about leadership and character. Be my guest. Drawing Ed is always good fun. He does look so distinctive, let's always say. He has these very, very strong features. All the polls of the focus groups about his image and his personal ratings are very low. So that's entirely what this speech is designed to, uh, to tackle. Leaders matter, of course they do. And leadership matters. But in the end, political change happens because people make it happen. And you can't be a party that properly fights for working people unless you have working people at the core of your party. He said things, I think, certainly people in the hall wanted to hear. He was so aggressive, so full of oomph, as opposed to the sort of dangly, dweeby character. Britain can do better than this. We're Britain. We're better than this. I'll lead a government that fights for you. So I started thinking about transformations. Of course, I've been thinking about beaches yesterday with uh, Ed Balls, and Ed Balls have been coming around the beach towels with David Cameron. And my thoughts returned to the similar theme, and of course, inevitably came to Charles Atlas and the story of the Seven Stone Weakling who has sand kicked in his face. So, of course, I looked it up. It's a very old cartoon. I remember it from when I was a kid. It used to be in the back of comic books advertising this the Charles Atlas method of bodybuilding called Dynamic Tension. And so this conversion of weed to muscle man lent itself very well to, to the idea of Ed suddenly transformed, suddenly coming back at the bully who had been kicking sand in his face all summer long. So here they are, here this couple on the beach. That pinky is the worst nuisance on the beach. Hey, quit kicking that sand in our faces. Listen, weakling, I'd smash your weak face, only you're so weak you might blow away. The big bully, I'll get even some day. Oh, don't let it bother you, little boy. Back home. Darn it, I'm sick and tired of being a weed. And Damien McBride says he can give me a real mean-ass tough guy look. All right. I'll gamble a stamp and get his book later. Boy, that didn't take long. Hey, Pinky, here's a love tap from that weakling, remember? Oomph! Oh, Ed, you are real He-Man after all. What a man! What a man. And I have to say, with apologies to Charles Atlas at the bottom, and the unnamed person who drew the strip. <laughs>